So we're going to talk about uh, how to hit your snare drum for a heavy, consistent backbeat today. And there's not just one snare drum technique. There are many. But in general, if you're playing rock or metal and you want a really consistent, heavy backbeat, you should hit um, your stick in the center or like just off center of your snare drum. And you should try to hit sort of in the same area for every beat because you want to get a consistent tone and the nice, heavy crack that you're looking for. So here's an example of a snare head that I had on for like a year. Yes, it's dirty. Yes, there are some errant hits here and there. But you can see I really, really focus my, like in on maybe a fist sized area of the head. And that's just for consistency of tone, trying to get that nice crack out of the drum every single time. And that will do you a world of good trying to get a consistent snare sound. Now here's a head. I put this on like one week before this picture was taken. Basically, I lent it to another drummer. I was wearing in the green area just like the previous head. And this guy uh, just went, uh, you know, insane on it. Um, no consistency whatsoever. And essentially when you hit way off center like those WTF hits or even where his main blackened play area is, um, you're getting a lot of weird overtones. And so you're not getting a great snare sound even out of a nicely tuned great snare drum like I have. So basically, like I said, there's not just one way to hit a snare drum, but this guy was playing death metal, so he pretty much wanted a consistent crack every time, and he wasn't getting that just based on bad technique. So basically, here's the alternative Gavin Harrison snare drum. He hits his backbeat in an area smaller than a penny, so he's getting a very consistent snare sound, and a lot of people think that he does have a really nice snare sound. So that's one part of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, short video today. Main takeaway here is if you want a great snare sound, it starts with a great snare strike. Uh, you've got to hit the drum consistently in the same place and the right place in order to get a good sound out of it. Um, then, of course, tuning and the quality of the drum comes into play. But if you aren't hitting it right, you're kind of hosed. Anyway, thanks for watching.